What's up everyone? I hope you guys are having an absolutely blessed day today. May God be with you today. And uh, I'm Colton from Seeking Wisdom. And it's been a while since I've been back on because, you know, I'm going to say I've been through some trials and tribulations. God has allowed certain stuff to happen so that I can grow in patience, endurance, and just, you know, a whole bunch of stuff that I've learned. I've grown and I've gotten to the point where I want to come back on. I want to speak to you guys because I want to share this dream that, um, that I had. Uh, a couple days ago and it's very powerful because it's just like God's continually giving me just dreams dreams and visions and just certain aspects of the dream and vision is pointing to our soon re the soon return of our Savior our King Jesus is coming back we are living in the last moments guys whether you, you know you think so or not it is what it is I mean it's been 2,000 years since our Savior's been here, and we, we are in the point where so many prophecies are just coming true, exactly what the Word is saying. It's coming alive, and we come into the point where Acts 2, 17 through 21 is being fulfilled. In the last of days, God said, I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh. Young men will see visions. Old men will dream dreams. I mean, I'm getting them left and right, guys, and this is serious. This is about America, I believe, and this just is how, what's going to be happening to Babylon and just, you know, uh... <laughs> So it was a crazy dream. I'm still trying to like process everything, but I want to share with you guys what happened. And, you know, I want you to know that I'm not saying anything that the Holy Spirit, you know, is the Holy Spirit is allowing me and he wants me to make this video. Why? Because it can touch other people and just help a realization of how urgent it is so we can be about the Father's business. Because, guys, we're not promised tomorrow. We really aren't. Nobody that you walk past, every single person that you walk past, they're an eternal being. They're an eternal soul. And... There's one or two places that they're going to be when you look at someone. They're either going to heaven, and they're on the pathway to heaven, the narrow path, or they're on the broad way, which leads to destruction, hell. And you guys have the keys. If you have Jesus in your heart and you believe on him for salvation, you have the key. You have that ticket, and you can share that with them. And so I'm going to get into the dream right now. The dream was pretty wild. I don't know where I was. I was at some sort of like event organization. I don't know if it was like a school or some like stadium or what it was, it was kind of blurry, like exactly where I was, but I know there was a lot of people around me and I was with my stepdad and we were just walking around and all of a sudden we look up and people are going like screaming and everywhere. Everyone's walk like running past each other and we look up and in the sky, so many planes, so many planes and they just start like aligning together the planes and they drop, poof, drop. Poof. I mean, they just started dropping these bombs. Like, I mean, they were, it was wild. I remember seeing in the far, distance just poof, explosion after explosion it felt like slow motion i'm not even joking like boom 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 and i'm just in the middle of it and then i and then literally every turn everything turned to slow motion literally i was just like moving in slow motion i saw the bombs coming in slow motion and in this house school i don't know what it was but boom you could see the explosion and the flame come about in slow motion and everybody's just trying to hold on to their loved ones that some are praying some are doing all that and to be honest i didn't have fear you know it was something that was crazy but i didn't have fear because i knew okay it's my time jesus i'm here and as the bomb dropped it didn't drop until it hit something so as the bomb went in front of me and my stepdad, I'm just looking at Randy in slow motion. I'm like, don't fear. It's okay. We're about to be in the presence of God. And boom, it exploded. And then it, the flames covered me when I woke up. And it was just something like Colton, like God was saying, Colton, listen, I'm still coming. No matter how many people say I'm not on my way. Hey, you already said he's coming. He is closer and closer each day that we go that goes by and to give this encouragement guys like i'm telling you no matter no matter how bad how much stress you know the world is causing just know that jesus said and promised trials and tribulation but with that peace peace so where it's like when jesus was on the boat with his disciples where all around jesus was screaming people was storms wind but he was sleeping why? Because he had faith in God and his Father, and he knows that the peace within doesn't have to change. No matter how chaotic the world is around us, we have an opportunity to have the peace within. And, you know, it really, God put me on the test. He put me on the test to really test, Colton, are you going to say what you preach? Are you going to, like, actually do what you say? 
And I'm telling you what, of course I failed sometimes. But through that, his grace was sufficient. And I got back on my knees. I, I, I repented. I, I said, Jesus, I'm nothing. Because I, what I learned in church was so powerful. And I want to share with you guys real quick. Literally. You know, I'm, I'm sure you guys know this verse. Cast all your anxiety and cares onto God because he cares for you. Well, before that, right before that, there's a formula. See, it's like we have to, like one plus one equals two. There's a formula. We can't just have, you know, one uh, certain thing. It's right before that, right before we can cast anything, we need to come and humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God and then cast all anxiety because we can cast and cast and cast. But if we're still not humbling ourselves under his mighty hand and we're still holding on to and we're in control and we put our faith in ourselves and that we can do something and we're trying to cast, cast, it's not going to lift off because we need to first humble ourselves. So, guys, I hope you were touched by this. I hope that it's an encouragement to say just get on your knees, humble yourself to God because he's going to lift you up. It says humble yourself and then God will exalt you. He loves you. And there's not literally one thing that God doesn't care. It doesn't matter how small it is. No matter how, if it's if you care about it, if it's big to you, if it's something that you care about, our heavenly Father cares about it. And he wants to just mold you into the man and woman of God he created you to be. He wants to give you peace through everything that the world throws at us because we're living in a fallen world. And there's so many people living in darkness. Why? Because it says the God of this world, the small g God of this world has blinded the eyes of those who don't believe. The blinded the minds. So extend mercy because our Heavenly Father extended mercy to us by sending His Son. Extend mercy to those who just try to look at people different. Try to look at people not for who they are right now, but who in God's eyes. Who are they going to become in Christ? Who can they become in Christ? You guys heard so many testimonies. I know it. It's all online. People can change, but they can't change themselves. And they don't. it's not a help if you are downing them or you're kicking the horse while it's dead. You know, we need to lift up, encourage, and pursue Jesus and pray. And everything we do, pray and petition to God. I love you guys so much. And I just want this encouragement to just resonate with you, okay? Resonate with you. And if you guys haven't, accepted Jesus as your savior, I encourage you to do so. I encourage you to put your faith in the right thing, not in works, because it's not about works, lest any man should boast. It's all about Jesus, by grace, through faith in he, him. But we're created for works before the foundations of the earth. So uh, just say this after me. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sin. Cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Thank you for dying on the cross and rising again three days later. I am born again. I am saved, and when you come back, you're coming back for me. Amen. It's as simple as that, guys. If you truly believe that, you cross from death to life, and you have eternal life through Jesus. Now, it's a, it's a continually relationship. It's not anything we can do, but just ask him. He's your father. Talk to him. Pursue God. Run to God instead of running from God, because he has great plans for each and every one of you guys, a purpose for your life, and you have the chance to fulfill that. Store our treasure in heaven, guys, because, like, honestly, this life is nothing but a vapor. So quick. We're in. We're out. And I want to live, I want to live good in heaven. I'm not going to lie. I mean, that's not nothing bad. It's not greed. I mean, store your treasure in heaven. That's where your heart is, you know, wherever your heart is, that's where your treasure is. So put your heart in heaven. All right, guys, God bless. Have a great day.